In about two weeks, we embark on a road trip that has been in the planning stages for the better part of six months. We've researched everything from where we're staying each night and how we're getting there to where to stop for pee breaks on the side of the road if we have to. But no matter how many times we tell someone we're driving from Idaho to the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, the reaction is almost always the same. Is that safe? Are you sure you should be doing that? I mean, it's the Wild West down there, right? I guess if I believed everything I saw on the news, I might also have that impression, especially in the area that we call home. What most people know of Mexico is what they see and hear on the news and social media. It's almost never good, and almost always the actual facts are lost in translation, no pun intended. Family, friends, neighbors, it doesn't matter who, when we mention what is coming up, people seem terrified for us. I do understand though, most of the stories anyone hears about the beautiful country of Mexico aren't shining. It's unfortunate too, because the things that make it such a special place are rarely, if ever, talked about in our daily lives. There are plenty of vacationers that make their trek from their comfy homes to airports across North America each and every day, destined for somewhere in Mexico where they'll land, grab a cab, and end up at their resort, never to leave for the entire week. Except maybe a possible fishing charter or an excursion, maybe some parasailing or the occasional trek into the local pueblo. But for us, we wanted more. And we're bringing a dog, so we don't have a lot of options. And honestly, if there are so many people already out adventuring and doing this safely each and every day, why not us? We decided that if we're gonna document this journey for ourselves, our family, and our friends to enjoy it with us, then we're going to show them a side of Mexico that they definitely don't hear about. The Mexico that we know is one of imagination, tranquility, and beauty. A place full of people that can creep into your heart without you even knowing. A vast textured piece of earth that so many call home and never want to leave. The truth is in what you can see and hear. Come with us on this road trip of a lifetime. Meet the people and see the places we are about to see, and hopefully we can show you a side of Mexico that you never knew existed. Of course, our family and friends want us to be safe. That's understandable and absolutely appreciated. Safety is as important to us as it ever has been. No matter where we go and what we do, that's always on the top of our list. But what is life if we're not living it? That's pretty much it. We're ready. Are you? Join us. We're going places. What did you just get? I bought a bunch of bathing suits for our trip. For like, what trip or where are we going? Mexico. Oh, oh my God, I had no idea. <laughs> it's beautiful, the it's, snow. It's a gorgeous day today. It really 
is pretty. In North Idaho. I don't know. Idaho. I mean, Del it really is beautiful, but. Idaho del Norte. <laughs> I'm really missing Mexico. <laughs> I'm Jay. She's Kat. Welcome to our little uh, our little nook and cranny of the internet. And uh, if you are interested in hanging out with us on this little journey that we're about to take uh, in a couple of weeks. Countdown begins. Countdown begins. We basically have all of our paperwork in order for the most part, except I think we need to get insurance. Yeah, we're missing the insurance. Mex Mexican insurance is uh, one thing we have to pick up. And we're going to do all of our FMM and our tip at the border when we get down there. We're not going to bother with the online. It can cause problems if you're not there on the right time that you say you're going to be there. So rather than have any issues, we're just going to fly by the seat of our pants. I think Sounds we have... like a plan. Yeah, that's your thing. You, you plan all that. I'll plan all that. <laughs> she planned all of the places that we're going to stay, all of the pit-friendly places for exactly. Abby. Um, Fido. Fido. Uh, Bring Fido was Bring the app Fido. we used for that's that. It. That was pretty cool. Uh, it gave us all kinds of cool reviews of people just like us that have dogs that transport them on journeys. When we leave North Idaho, we're going to beeline it for the Texas border. So we're basically taking four days or four nights as it will. Uh, we're, driving long days. we're driving long days from North Idaho straight down to the Texas border. We're going to make a stop in Idaho Falls and then in Moab, Utah uh, and then Roswell. Roswell, yeah. New Mexico, so we can drop her off at the aliens, probably. Hey, um, there are no aliens there. There's no I've aliens? I've been there. Never saw any aliens. You've never looked hard enough. <laughs> She's never... I'm not an alien geek. You're not a... <laughs> uh, you're a geek, but you're not an alien geek. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> um, so after Roswell, we'll get to uh, Eagle Pass, Texas, and we'll hang out there for the night before we make a run for the border, as First it were. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, we're gonna cross at uh, Eagle Pass and head for our friend Leo's house in the town of, you can't really, you don't remember what it's called. I don't uh, even know if she could. never pronounce it right, like you, because you, you speak Spanish, I don't. I'm not sure if I speak Spanish or not, but the town is called we'll pronounce it. Cuatro Cienegas. I think uh, most of our family, especially maybe my mom and my dad, <laughs> Have been most. Wow! Ah, You're going safety, off the road. You safety, safety. I should watch out where we're going. Yeah. Safety is pretty important, obviously. Um, so all the precautions have been made. We're taking one of the safest routes that you can take. We're taking all all the way down, and we're taking toll roads. Um, we are not driving at night because we don't want to hit any topes at 60 miles an hour. And if you don't know what a tope is, a tope is basically. Uh, a really abrupt speed bump. It's not even like a like a nicely groomed speed bump you'd find in a parking lot at Mervin's. It's, at it's Mervin's? Like a... <laughs> There's no Mervin's anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay. You just, you just totally dated yourself. <laughs> Mervin's. So whether or not it's the, for the Mervin's or not. It, topes, Macy's. Macy's. Um, topes are not to be trifled with, man. You don't want to mess with topes. We're staying at very secure places. Um, we're not driving in any place that would be dangerous for our health uh, and we're gonna be honestly having the time of our lives in some of the coolest cities and towns along the way so I'm really excited what about you I'm really excited I can't wait to go like I'm doing the countdown every day anyway we're gonna go in and get some lunch and um, we'll see you guys in a bit uh, when we start packing this beast we decided that because we're going to be spending so much time in Mexico that we had to get our fill of American food before we go. So we're here in our hometown here in Spirit Lake, Idaho, having Messi's Burger because mm. they're the best damn burgers in all of North right. Idaho. If I'm being honest, they're pretty pretty much on par with anything. And the fries, if you're from California, oh my god! If you're from California, those look like In-N-Out. Well, they taste like In-N-Out, but only better. Our day of departure is so close. We're starting to check things off of our respective lists, and aside from a few things to tie up, we just have to pack up and get the heck out of Dodge. Making sure not to bring a lot of extra stuff is a priority on this trip, even though we're staying for so much longer. Other than clothes and of course flip-flops, snorkeling gear, and a few other things, we're just bringing along the things that we need to work. A small portable printer, bigger monitor, some other miscellaneous office stuff for Cat, and an assortment of lenses, cables, and other camera stuff for me. If we overpack, then it won't be a very fun ride for anybody, 
so figuring out how everything is going to fit is definitely important. The Jeep is pretty much the perfect vehicle. For one, we own it outright. There's no issue needing permission from our bank. It's a four-wheel drive, so any excursions that are off the beaten path won't be difficult at all. And probably most important, there is a dealer network, so if anything does come up, we can get it taken care of without any problems. It's plenty big for the three of us, and just to make sure, we've got this rack that we're going to be using to carry a lot of the stuff anyway. It's a long ride for Abby too, so we want to give her as much room as we can. So that's it. The lists are made, and the trial runs of Tetris have begun for both of us, albeit on slightly different scales. We'll have a few get-togethers over the holidays, and then it's a dash to the finish line, or the starting block, or whatever it is. I apologize for the hair right now. Uh, wasn't expecting to be on camera. I'm in the process of editing this episode one right now, and we just had the most amazing, weird little thing happen. We live on 10 acres, so the likelihood that anything's on our property we don't know about is few and far between, but the cutest things just showed up at our doorstep. They're the cute little puppies, huh? We did this on purpose, so everybody would like and subscribe to our videos. Four little puppies. They were yelping, crying outside, and they found the Abby's toy. Oh, hi. Already. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Well, while Kat and I go ahead and figure out whose dogs these are and play with them a little bit, we're going to say thank you for watching episode one here. Uh, if you like this, you want to join us on this journey, please hit the subscribe button, um, hit the little like button, and don't forget to hit the little bell too. <laughs> You'll find some puppy owners um, after about a half an hour to an hour of playtime. I have a feeling. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.